If you're over 30 and you want to learn how to swear, take the PSLE. My own PSLE experience was quite traumatic. It has been eight years since I did my PSLE. No, I've never taken a PSLE before. I can't remember anything of it, except that after it, I played football to celebrate. If you're a mathematician, that is like having superpowers to me. My brain does not work that way. My worst subject is maths, and we're doing that today, so I'm not confident at all. In the media reports, they keep saying how it's become more complicated. I think it'd be quite sad if I don't pass. Plus, like, you know, if 12-year-olds can pass, then we can pass. I don't know, man. Let's give it a try. Okay, which of the following numbers is the smallest? Okay, this is quite easy. Which two lines are perpendicular to each other? How much water is in the container shown? And this is life skills and I have not much life skills. This is crazy. One, two, three, four, five. Angle DEF is 92 degrees and DEF is 48 degrees. Okay, another problem that I have is that I'm very bad with mental sums and I cannot use calculator for this. Oh my god, I got hit it. It's like, can I drink some water? This is actually taking me very long. This is really not easy eh. I'm kind of like annoyed. So one thing that I realised is that I'm not only very bad at math, my handwriting is horrible as well. Don't know whether the marker can see and understand what I'm writing. Sorry, what age are the astronauts that do this? 12. Right. 10,012 in numerals. Oh, wait a minute, this is wrong right? Good thing I don't write checks anymore. Ernest is rubbish so I can't cheat off him. Find the value of 1 upon 6 plus 2 upon 9. Yeah, I realise that I need to go and have a tea break now. What the hell's a common multiple? Find the value of 0 0.27 times 30. You sure you can't do this with a calculator? This is the fifth question, and already I can feel my brain coming out of my ear. I don't know how we did it. You know, I must have been really smart when I was 12. This is physically painful. Measure and write down the length of AB. You're allowed to use a ruler, right? Yes. This is a... Okay, thank God. All right, I remember getting one of these like fancy calculators in 1982 from High Street. Although I forgot how to... Use the sine, cosine, and who would sell a, a, a container, right, with this kind of markings? At the halfway point, 500, it should be a big line. This is insane! Out of four, one has done very well. I think on the other end, yes, you have one that uh, almost 90% uh, of the scripts is not attempted. Some parts of the working, I'm trying to make sense of what they're writing, yeah, not so clear. So you've done very well. I think out of the four, you scored 86 upon 100. Woo! Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Now, the paper one, booklet A and B, you got full marks. So I'm well surprised done. actually. Mm. I, I didn't think I would do that well. It looks like you, you have just uh, graduated from P6 last year. So you had a uh, 60 upon 100. So you, you, you kind of like forgotten everything. Yeah, but it, it's a good attempt though. You probably need a little bit more practice. I'm just happy that I passed. Throughout the entire paper, you can see there's a lot of cancellation throughout. <laughs> I think it's nothing wrong with cancellation, but also the way they cancel. Maybe be a little bit more calm. I think when I look at this script, uh, straight away I can tell that you didn't go through the uh, Singapore way of maths education. No. Your maths background is pretty strong. I think throughout the... Seriously? Yeah, so on the whole, you had uh, 63 wow. 100. I am shocked. I think I may have got the score more by chance than skill. Yay. I can do maths, apparently. So when I marked this script, I think first thing I was wondering, like, probably you're not in the best of health. Like, you know, were you sick? Mm. No, I wasn't. I think yours took the, uh, the shortest time to mark, yes, because yeah. I think most of them were blank. Most of the questions were not attempted. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I walked out halfway. Oh, it's see. kind of like what I did during all levels as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. You scored 10 upon 100. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, <laughs> Not even 30. I may need to restart from Premier 1. I'm quite surprised. I thought I'd be super rusty. It was really difficult. At points, I just gave up on the questions. Hence, these wonderful little illustrations. He did well at his PSLE, but he's forgotten it all, so... Yeah. I mean, I got C for my PSLE math paper, so I guess my standard has been the same. I kind of wish that the maths had more real-world practicality about it. PSLE is not the most important thing in life. I feel that everybody has their own talents and, like, they're good at other subjects, so... 
it's okay if you're you're bad in one subject as long as you know what you're good in in other ways. You shouldn't feel that uh, the whole world is gonna come down upon you if you do badly. I remember one uh, principal actually told me that I won't actually make it in life so I decided that I was going to prove him wrong. Although I never did meet him again, I think you just have to have a sense of balance knowing that this is actually a decently long life that you, you may have and there are going to be chances and you will be able to prove people wrong. Thanks Oprah. Study hard for your PSLE uh, but also play hard. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click here for more stir videos. And click that little bell in the corner so you never miss out on all the awesome content.